Hey guys, this is Jochen. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to give you another idea for photography during the lockdown or contact lock. This time I will stay at home and I will use the wonderful Fujinon 16 to 80 f4 for some kinds of macro shots. Here we go! First, as usual, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there. This would really help me a lot to do these kinds of videos. Since I posted the review of the wonderful Fujinon 16 to 80 f4 on my channel, it has received a lot of attention from you. And today I want to use it for a very popular section of photography in times of Corona crisis, macro photography, or at least some kind of. Of course, real macro photographers would use a real macro lens, for example, the 80mm macro with a minimum focus distance of 25 centimeters. Well, the 16 to 80 has a minimal focus distance of 35 centimeters, but we will talk about that later. About my general setup, I will put everything on my windowsill and primarily use the available light. I will use a small diffuser that I clip into the blinds somehow to make the lights even softer. Here you can find creative alternatives, sheets, tracing paper, whatever you can think of to make the light softer. As a background or underlay in this case, I use a black molten cloth. I also have a small RGB light, a Falcon Eyes F7, which I love to use to do small light setups with. Maybe I will use this later to create a better light composition. Now I put my X-T3 with the 16 to 80 f4 on my tripod and off we go. As I told you, the minimum close focus range of the 16 to 80 is 35 centimeters. This value always refers to the sensor level, not to the lens in front, as many might believe. The sensor level is shown on almost every camera housing. On the X-T3, for example, it is up here on the EVF housing next to the ISO dial. On my X-100V, it's right here on top. If we now use the zoom, it means that if we extend the 16 to 80 completely to 80 mil, which would be 120 mil in full format, we can get pretty close to our objects even without extension rings. Even if it's not a real macro lens and not real macro photography, we can achieve very nice photos with it, I guess. Well, my other settings, since I'm shooting still objects from a tripod, I set the ISO as low as possible, because slow shutter speeds are not a problem. In case of my X-T3, it's an ISO of 80. I guess I will start with the largest aperture, which for the 16 to 80 is also at 80 um, f4. The constant aperture is now of course a great advantage. I will start by setting the shutter speed to automatic, maybe I will change to full manual if needed. And then I'll set the self timer of my X-T3 to 2 seconds so that I do not accidentally set the camera in motion when releasing the shutter. I have now collected some objects that I would like to take photos of. It's my children's toys, groceries, whatever comes to your mind. And I will take them one after the other and take a look at what I can create. So let's stop talking for now and let's see what we're getting here.
Well, it may be not enough for the real macro freak, but I'm really surprised at the great results that can be achieved with the minimum focus distance of the 16 to 80 mil. It's great at least for pack shots, stock photos, etc. And most important, it was a lot of fun. So let's stay inside for some more weeks and find out more stuff like that. If you have any questions on this or any other topic, feel free to write me in the comments. I usually answer within a few hours. Don't forget to give me a like and please subscribe to my channel, switch on the notifications so that you don't miss any more videos. Take care of yourself, have a good time, ciao!